yellow and orange for Russia US let's see how this looks Russia because those are the main two players right United States does that look okay how would your what do you think about the map looking like this what do you guys think what do you guys think Rainbow for us, rainbow. <laughs> Eduardo saying rainbow in Brazil. <laughs> Brazil's going to be playing both sides. Brazil, here, let's put it on. As far as I see it, or should we use pink for Brazil? For that wants to play both sides, or green. What do you say? Green? Want to play both sides. India? Want to play both sides. What do you guys think? Great. Okay. Let's do. Uh, mean, clear bams. Jordanian king always stood by Israel because uh, the whole idea of Jordan's made up. King is a puppet like half of the society, whether it be known or not. Yeah, I think most people are aware of that. And he's a Hashemite or, you know, from the house of Saud, really. And here, let's bring this up. On the Russia side right Iran China North Korea right nuclear 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 countries Iran can go nuclear anytime they want right Canada Mr. Gant yeah but what about Canada Canada orange Europe, we'll put UK separate than EU. Okay, UK, Europe. Maybe we'll put two for Europe because Europe, right? Because there's multiple countries there. We could put one for Spain and Portugal as well. Right? We got Israel. Turkey and Israel, when the shit is the fan, Turkey will side with uh, Imapia or with Europe. You think India, elder guy, you think India is with Europe? Yeah? Belarus, Belarus, sure. Belarus, we could say Russia, right? Let me do a little movement here. So if we're going to do Belarus, Russia, but Belarus is a small player in this, right? But as as big as Spain and Portugal together really right so let's move this here and let's put Belarus Yemen and Yemen is a much bigger player than Belarus okay because Yemen strategically strategically geographically is uh, controlling a serious transit route right i speak to many of them some were in my class today the indian but india is not homogenous india is not homogenous india is going to try to stay play both sides hungary uh maybe play both sides i agree hungary will try to play both sides but it will have to take a side uh cosmic north says india uh india is with us we'll see i think india's waiting to see where they're going to be australia us new zealand us but new zealand just sank one of their warships uh it was a uh, what was it uh, dei hire and they sank a warship since you know sank one of their navy military ships off a reef and it's the first <laughs> New Zealand ship to be sunk since World War II. So New Zealand, you can consider to be a pea in a pod, right? Or a little, little teeny weeny pea, right? Japan, U.S. Philippines, I think U.S. Philippines, U.S. 
Hungary and Serbia as small countries have have to be diplomatic ally. I agree. There is we should put a green here because there are some countries that are going to try to stay green, but I don't think it's going to work personally. You're on the front lines, right? South Africa, both sides. Let's do it. South Africa, both sides. But they are BRICS as well. Same with India, same with Brazil, right? Uh, Mr. Gandalf, don't forget US and North Africa. Uh, we can't uh, a color to. Yeah, this is. It's a war zone, right? So it's hard to say which side they're going to side with because it hasn't been decided yet. Yeah, baby knights. Serbia is all in for Israel. Right. But they're on the side of Russia in Ukraine. Right. OK. Um, where else? Where else? Indonesia, Indonesia, I would say, is a safe haven. Do you guys agree? Okay. Malaysia as well, safe haven? Malaysia more so than Indonesia, I think. Are we okay with that? As a colorblind? This is nightmare for me as a cosmic north, sorry. <laughs> what will Switzerland do? Switzerland is the side of the United States. Switzerland is no longer neutral. It's not. Right? Switzerland is one of the countries that has the most amount of sanctions against Russia. So Switzerland is not neutral. Uh, Real Zinomorph. Serbia seeks interest. They're not brotherly tied to Russia as something. If they were, they changed their heavy friendship with the Zios. They're playing both sides. They're playing both sides. Yeah. There is a green there. Green, remember, playing both sides. Argentina under Mille, United States. In my humble opinion. Okay. Venezuela, big player. Why? One of the reasons is they have the largest known energy reserves, reserves in the world. Okay. <laughs> Gandalf, Mr. Potter, Antarctica. I think they support Palestine. Hilarious. Mexico, green. They wanna, they wanna play both sides. They wanna be friends with both, in my humble opinion. Okay. Should we put orange in New Zealand as well, just for the hell of it? Let's do it, just for the hell of it. Let's count them as a real country. Sorry, my New Zealand friends. <laughs> New Zealand, uh, Venezuela is real and worse saying Venezuela could have been insanely powerful. It is insanely powerful. It is. El Salvador, U.S. Yeah, I agree. El Salvador, U.S. Uh, Central America, in large part, I think it's in the pocket of the United States. I think South America, we're seeing the shift take place away from the Monroe Doctrine. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, Ecuador, United States, right? But it's not a major player. Colombia is trying to go more neutral. It's trying really hard. Uh, mean clear bams. Okay, let's not talk about that anymore. <laughs> Venezuela, oh, Venezuela, no, Serbia. Okay, this is what I see right now. There are countries here, like here, it's civil war, multinational war taking place right now. How is it going to play out? I think it's more in the side of Russia, 
right? Russia, China, Iran. I think it's more yellow than anything else. Okay. But more like Central Intelligence America. Yeah. What about Argentina though? Argentina, I think United States, because it's full blown Millet came out and said he's a Zionist, he, he's Jewish, right? But he just already shipped out all of Argentina's gold. I think went to UK or probably somewhere where the collective West can control it, right? So Argentina is Israel, United States, right? South Korea and Japan. So, uh, Japan, United States, South Korea, United States. Kazakhstan, Mongolia, Russia, right? Russia. What South American countries talked about crypto again? Uh, Central America, El Salvador. El Salvador. They have some reserves in uh, Bitcoin. blue sticker is safe they're not going to play the game let's say right pakistan heavily dependent on us but they don't want to be yeah agreed real xenomorph pakistan right now united states but i would also say it could be green they're trying to play both sides so maybe green is a better choice for pakistan let's put Afghanistan and Pakistan together is green. Yeah, Pakistan has, you know, they have the nukes, but by all accounts, it's CIA, United States, that controls those nukes. Cuba is a harbor for Russia. Cuba is a harbor for Russia. So we could go Cuba. Oh, not orange. Cuba should be yellow. Okay, but my guess is Cuba is trying to not play both sides, but stay out of it. But we can't go blue because it's not really a safe haven, right? Cosmic. Yellow equals Russia. Blue equals safe haven. Green equals both sides. Orange, U.S. Yeah. We haven't come up with words to call them axes or allies yet. Right. So Cuba could be a non-player, but it does. You know what? We do have to put Cuba as yellow because Russia has military ships there now, right? But it's not big yellow. It's a little yellow, right? Uh, Gandalf, Morocco, Algeria, and Tun Tunisia. More yellow. I'm Moroccan, though I know there's some ties to Israel. But the entire population rally for free. I agree, but Morocco, Morocco, is in the pocket of the United States and Israel. There's no doubt about it, right? Remember Trump when he came out and said Israel can have the Golan Heights. Golan Heights is now Israel. He also came out at the same time in West Sahara. I think it was West Sahara. Said, "Oh, that's Morocco, right? Where there's a civil war in Morocco, where Morocco is occupying." Uh, the region, I think it's called West Sahara, Sahara. I could call it something else, but Trump gave that to Morocco. So Morocco is in the pocket of Israel and the United States. Yeah, real Xenomorph says that Morocco's leadership is Zionist. Yeah, but are they a big player? Are they big enough for us to put a yellow for Morocco? I think our low bar, lowest bar should be Spain and Portugal. So Morocco doesn't fit that criteria, right? Cuba does, just in terms of how many doctors and nurses they have. Because in any war situation, if Cuba sides with you, you got an army of doctors and nurses that are going to be taking care of the wounded, right? They feel the Zionist ship that the Spain refused to feel really a zero morph. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Sahil, yeah, sorry, Robert Newton. Uh, Sahil, is that the area that Trump gave to Morocco? Just go down, promote it. Right? 
So, map looks interesting. These two regions, my guess is, will become yellow. When it becomes obvious that Western economies, especially Europe, is completely collapsing, right? So, so far, interesting, right? Remember, we're going to talk about this later, bring up population and stuff like this. Two-thirds of the population of the world is in that region, right? Pretty impressive. Thomas, I went to college with a disgraced Moroccan royal family's daughter. Now, gang, keep this in mind, okay? right like new zealand we put orange is that as strong as portugal or spain militarily <laughs> i don't think so we'll have to catch the new map stream loser forever salutations hope you're doing well on twitch peyton i don't see uh, any way afghanistan support us it, uh, no there's no way afghanistan will support the us afghanistan is already talking to China and Russia and Iran to a certain degree, but there are militias there. It's not 100% homogenous. Like the Taliban don't control everything yet, right? They, in most part, they do more than they ever have, right? So I would tend to go yellow for Afghanistan and Pakistan, but because Pakistan is a questionable right now, right? Because Pakistani military is under control of the United States, right? Maybe stay with green. Does everyone agree with these colors? Should we change anything up or add anything before we get into the next phase of the data I want us to see? I think it'd be important. Uh, what's the difference that... Uh, loser Forever, I in, did a little intro to it. Right now... We went from micro to macro. We're laying out because size have been chosen, right? If we're in a World War III, in my opinion, we are. We have countries that are siding with Russia and China and Iran in yellow. Countries that are siding with the United States, Europe, collective West and Israel in orange. Green is countries that are trying to play both sides. Blue are countries that are saying we don't want anything to do with you people, right? We're not going to play the game. And Myanmar is civil war, really. Uh, the United States is trying to overthrow it, um, trying to create chaos there. Same with Thailand. So soon, I think we'll know if it's going to go orange or yellow. But in my opinion, it's more yellow than anything else. Uh, yeah, if the shit is the fat type analysis, basically, that's what it would be. Elder God, uh, Chicho, I just modded Eduardo on SensorTube. Hope that's, oh, 100%. Thank you very much, Elder God. And Eduardo, salute. Welcome to our mod world on SensorTube. Mm -hmm. I agree. Taiwan should be, Taiwan should be, not yellow did you say yellow who said yellow taiwan should be orange sorry orange taiwan should be orange but taiwan is just an extension of the united states taiwan really can't do anything if the united states is not there right so we could go orange here right because taiwan military yeah probably bigger than new zealand Right, so yeah, that's good. RC Wicket, Taiwan, Korea. We have South Korea, United States, North Korea, China, Russia, Iran. Right, a loser forever. Do you think we've been in World War Three and it just went hot, or what uh, would you call it? World War Three, we're in World War Three, and it's been hot for a long time, and it's not just. Uh, kinetic war like uh, soldiers tanks planes cannon fodder right 
things going boom it's also an economic warfare on the economic front is bigger than it has ever been huge 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 and cyber warfare technology right can you can you explain what is the situation with taiwan they are unofficially par partners with us right yeah and china doesn't like that or am i getting it wrong uh baby nights uh that's baby nice asking the question taiwan is recognizes the world as being a part of china even the united states believes in the one China policy. That's the deal Nixon cut with China when Nixon went, I believe anyway, check, check, hold, I'm going by memory. Nixon visited China in late 60s or early 70s, I forget what it was. He said, yeah, we, we believe in the one China policy. That means Taiwan is a part of China. However, the United States has been arming Taiwan up the yin yang because they like it as a military base, right? To contain China. Now, what we could do with this map is also put all U.S. military bases on here and just be surrounding Iran, surrounding China, certainly on this side, right? But we've already talked about that. We're seeing some of the maps with that, right? So Taiwan, some, Taiwan's not homogenous, right? Uh, where everybody wants to be with the United States or everybody wants to be with China. It's almost a 50-50, right? And as time progresses, they're going to start leaning more and more towards China. And they are leaning more and more towards China. So that's one of the reasons that the United States is kicking this into high gear, the tensions with Taiwan and China, because they realize if they wait another 10 years, then the majority are, are going to want to side with China. So U.S. influence in that region diminishes. Okay, That's why things are kicking up. That's one of the reasons things are kicking up. It seems a uh, genetic flaw in your line if you sorry. Oh, okay. Du, 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 du. I'm not going to get involved with that discussion. Mr. Chang, what are you doing? Damn, Western world, including Japan and South Korea, without America, uh, they're weak. They're weak, and they would never. Like, who's, who's Japan's uh, biggest trading partner? China. <laughs> like, why, is, why is Japan siding with the United States? Because military bases. And puppets right and puppets balish is island safe which island which island and europe and asia neighbors are always afraid china and russia you're crazy crazy right crazy information psyop hacker man shit going on in these words all kinds memes meme clear bam says it on twitch all kinds economic information psyop hacker man shit going on in these wars 100 percent and censorship and misinformation disinformation misinformation disinformation right censorship up the yin yang in the western world right we're rolling into tyranny full-on tyranny again dr mr potter egypt huge player in the middle east uh militaries big military player but uh very divided very divided so egypt is most likely in a civil war and when the dust settles they're going to side with russia and iran in my humble opinion but i don't feel comfortable enough making it yellow yet unless you guys disagree and we can oh my god that captain who sunk her ship was originally from uh harrogate in the uk <laughs> as far as from water you can get i think it's hilarious that like they sunk their own ship like a military ship what a clown world clown world baby nights oh wow i'm surprised nothing ever escal escalated there with taiwan yeah 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 it's escalating now right it's escalating now okay gang so this is the map we have so far we'll rearrange things as um things move on i'll create another legend for this color scheme as we did for the little guys right so in the next map stream i'll have this but let's talk about india huge support of israel by the way yes but they're also siding with russia with trade and stuff like this so india's playing both sides india's playing both sides 100 percent Gandalf, wait, we can disagree with Chicho? Refreshing. 100% you can disagree with me. But everybody disagrees with me, we'll make this a, a, what do you call it, orange if you like. But I would disagree. But you, 
I'm kidding. Okay. Now, gang, keep this in mind, right? Keep this in mind. She was praised for saving all her crew from her stupidity. Right? And has some excellent comments. <laughs> oh, Iceland! Iceland is 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 part of Europe, right? But Iceland, yeah, Iceland is Iceland a safe place to be? I think so. I mean, should we put should we put a blue on Iceland? <laughs> The problem with Iceland is they were 100% boom booms, right? 100% boom. Should we put a blue on Iceland and Greenland? We'll put green. Well, no, Greenland is uh, Denmark, isn't it? Who controls Greenland? Holland? No, it's not Holland. Uh, yeah, it is Denmark. Greenland is part of Denmark, and Denmark's all in with the EU and stuff, right? Plutonic Flores, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Iceland slowly ever. Uh, storyline even in World War Two is hilarious, is it? <laughs> I haven't looked into it. Denmark, yeah, okay, real in work, nice, right? So let me show you some data, gang. Let me show you some data. Greenland, Greenland is Denmark. Denmark is with the U.S. All right, Ronnie, how are we doing? Welcome to our live stream on Twitch. So again, let me show you this data. 